themselves in a hole with anti-air guns and have proven themselves to be quite a pain in the UNSC's ass. They're fast, hit them hard, don't leave anyone standing. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Freewalker Gaming Channel. My name is Freewalker1, and this is a voice box where we're just going to talk about uh, Halo. First of all, I want to congratulate everybody on making it through yet another summer drought. The flood is coming, and the doors have started to open up. We watched Halo 4 because we're talking about Halo 5. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain about um, Halo 4's campaign and what 343's kind of taking the series. Um, and I, I, I'm not really a big fan of, of listening to those complaints because, first of all, I, I love what 343 has been doing. I mean, I like the, the idea of making the Master Chief more of a character. I like the idea of, of combining the lore of Halo uh, from the books and the comics and, and, and the side stories to becoming part of the main story. I mean this mostly in the form of uh, Agent Locke, um, Buck, and, and Blue Team coming in and being a big part of Halo 5's campaign. Now, is there something to you know arguments like are being made on Gamertag Radio and stuff like that about um, having a four-man team that's always running with you whether you're playing online or not, taking away from the individual power of the Master Chief as a character? And, uh, and maybe there's something to that, maybe just a little bit. Um, I personally don't see that being a problem. I think that there's always been somebody there helping the Master Chief out. Somebody's always been there kind of augmenting his already formidable abilities in Cortana. And since, spoiler alert, Cortana's not going to be in this game, or at least that's what they're trying to have us believe, then they kind of need somebody else to kind of fill in those shoes and kind of make the, have somebody for the Master Chief to play off of. So he's not just a wild, silent killing machine. Um, and, and I think that's a good thing for Halo, and I think that's a good thing for Halo fans to get involved and get interested in new Spartans that they may not have read the Fall of Reach, they may not know Linda, Fred, and Kelly um, in that way. And so introducing them here is a pretty good way to do that. Um, also, I think that the story is going to start moving away from the Covenant, and I think there's a lot of uncomfortableness that people have about that about it moving away from the Covenant, moving away from elites and grunts and jackals and that type of thing, and going more towards the Prometheans, um, which are kind of a pain in the ass to fight, but that's because they're much more, they're designed much more to be a cohesive unit that you're fighting against, um, augmenting each other's strengths and strengths and weaknesses, and forcing the Master Chief to kind of come out of the box. I think that's another reason why we're getting um, four players or four individual teammates on either team so that you can make it easier to deal with the Prometheans and delegate some authority and say, hey, take out the Watchers, or hey, watch my back, or hey, go revive that person. Um, because I think that you're going to need that extra assistance in this game. Um, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit, talk about multiplayer. Um, now, a couple months ago, they launched the Halo 5 beta, and I was in that, and I played it for a little while, and I was really, really worried about the multiplayer for Halo. Um, granted, it's always been a kind of fast-paced arena combat shooter, and the smaller maps do yield to that, but I was just not having fun with it. It just wasn't... Something about it was just... It was so aggressive in the way that it was being played that it wasn't fun, and and I was worried that I was going to just, like, have to rent Halo and play the campaign and just skip the multiplayer. But then E3 happened, and then they announced, uh, they announced the Warzone stuff, and that's where... It got me excited. I mean, I've been looking for that type of mode for a long time. I was looking for the mode where Team A and Team B are battling it out. But in the middle of that, there's some AI team that's not really affiliated with either one that causes equal number, equal amounts of threat and danger for both sides so that it's a three-way fight, but, you know, only, two, only one of the two sides can win. So, I mean, they've added enough to Warzone to make it really awesome in that way. So we've got some um, capture the point, we've got some Team Slayer, we've got some campaign style objectives and fighting the final boss and all going on at the same time in big massive maps, you know, with Halo's weaponry and with almost a, I, it's a dirty word, but almost a MOBA sense of, of acquisition and, and progress within the match. I've been playing Smite and that's a great game, but Warzone reminds me a lot of that, in that the acquisitions or requisitions of weapons as you progress in the in the match, earning more 
currency and more skill level in order to cash it in for better and better weapons and better and better vehicles is is very much a MOBA thing and I think that that's going to do really well for Halo it's going to help them out a great deal now Warzone won me back uh, but you know I can understand there's a lot of people out there who aren't looking forward to Halo and I'd like to hear from you I mean if you are great I'd love to hear your excitement if you're not let me know what they did to miss the boat for you. Uh, why, why aren't you are why aren't you on board with Halo Five uh, this time around? You know, guys. To be honest, I never thought I'd admit this, but um, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that Covenant Carbine in Halo Four. I really am. I hope they don't change it too much in the next game. <laughs> it, it's pretty accurate. It does decent damage. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to doing some mid range snipes with it. I mean, assuming I don't miss everything I'm shooting at. <laughs> so I just want to pose you guys a question right quick. The fall is coming. We've got big games on the horizon. What console do you have? What console are you getting? What games do you want? What looks interesting? What would you get if you had the money but don't? Um, these are just big questions that I have. I, I know what I'm getting and I know what I'm looking forward to. So I'd love to hear what you guys are getting and what you guys are looking forward to. Yeah, and hit me up with that in the comment section below, and I will, uh, I'll be passing out a Rainbow Six beta code, uh, to someone at random that answers that question for me. Um, so, you know, guys, get on that. Go ahead and try to get yourself a beta code, and maybe we'll end up shooting some terrorists, or maybe even one another online. I'm just looking forward to seeing, uh, to building the community around Halo and, and, and trying to uh, play with you guys this fall in, in mini games. Um, so, you know, if you got an Xbox One, hit me up. If not, if you're on PlayStation, hit me up at D A R C L I N. Again, let me know that you're from the channel. And, um, and we'll play together. I've got several games. I'm getting them several games this fall. So, let's all have fun. Um, if you're watching this on the weekend of August 30th, I will be playing the Black Ops 3 beta on xbox one so hit me up uh, we can jump in together believe me i need somebody to watch my back and save my ass because i'm not great at it um also uh you know feel free to subscribe to the channel i've got content coming up regularly i've got several things i've got in the, in the works that i'm looking forward to getting uh, out to you guys so you can see and um i've got some more um some stuff i'm, I'm teasing stuff on twitter i'm constantly like uh, any good deal or or contest that i find on twitter uh, i'm posting so add me on twitter at free underscore walker one um also you know if you guys have some long form questions or comments or even uh, criticisms about the channel feel free to either put those in the comment section below or um, you can, if you've got something that you really want to get off your chest and it's going to take you a while, go ahead and and, uh, and throw it at me at freewalkergaming at gmail.com. Uh, I've been I've opened that email account specifically to uh, to converse with you guys, and and um, that's what it's for. So feel free to use it. And that's going to just about do it for my voice box on Halo. Uh, again, hit me up. Click subscribe. Friend me on Xbox and on PlayStation Network. And uh, let's get at some games together. See you guys later. Peace.